a doctor's order is 0.120 grams of ampicillin. The liquid suspension on hand contains 200 milligrams per 5 ml. How many milliliters of the suspension are required? So this is a conversion of a unit problem. So we will be using dimensional analysis in solving this problem. If you, if you still don't know or you're not yet familiar with what dimensional analysis is, don't worry, I will put in the description box a link of my tutorial. Okay, so in this problem, we are given 0 0.120 grams of ampicillin. So let's write that, 0 0.120 grams. The first step is to convert grams into milligrams. Why? Because as you can see, our other given is in milligrams. 200 milligrams per 5 ml. So we need the units to be consistent. So we need to convert grams into milligrams. So how do you do that? We are given grams, so you put grams on the denominator. We want to convert it to milligrams, so you put milligrams on top. And we know that 1 gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. So you put 1 gram below and 1,000 above. So as you can see, the grams would cancel out and now you have milligrams. And from milligrams, we will convert that into ml. So we put another parenthesis for the next conversion. We have milligrams, so you put it below. And you want to convert that to ml. So you put ml on top. And according again to the given, 200 milligrams per 5 ml. So you put those numbers in the parenthesis. 200 milligrams below and 5 ml on top. So as you can see, the milligrams would cancel out and our final unit is ml which is being asked in the problem. So our final unit again is ml. Now you just have to solve this using your calculator. So we have 0 0.120 times 1,000 divided by 1 times 5 divided by 200 and the answer is equal to 3 ml or 3.0 ml. So this is the answer to our question.